Hi, welcome to Super User TV here at the OpenStack Summit in Boston. Can you please introduce yourselves? Heather? I'll go first, all right. Um, I am Heather Kirksey. Um, I head up the uh, OPNFE project uh, within the Linux Foundation. I'm Phil Robb. I actually have two titles. Mm -hmm. I'm the executive director of the Open Daylight Project as well as the VP of Operations for all of the networking and orchestration projects at the Linux Foundation. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Isn't it though? <laughs> So today we're here to talk about the Cross Linux Foundation end-to-end -end full networking stack. So Heather, can you talk about OPNFE's role in bringing those projects together? Yeah, so uh, when OPNFE got started, one of the ideas was a lot of the pieces were out there already, but uh, getting them to work together and tested in an end-to-end -end fashion was not something that was happening. So we really focus on systems integration, building up the full stack from kind of hardware all the way up into um, connecting them with analytics and, um, and network automation. Um, so that involves groups like um, you know, OpenStack, obviously, but uh, FDIO, OVS, DBDK, um, I'm probably forgetting some, but um, what we do is we sort of connect in with the CI CD systems, we build them, uh, we deploy on different architecture, and then we do automated testing and send the results back to those groups. Awesome, and Phil, can you address how other Linux Foundation projects fit into that? Sure. Um, when OPNFE first started, there were serious gaps that existed within the Etsy NFV architecture um, to actually fulfill the, the goals of, of NFV. And since then, several projects have been started to actually address those issues. And as those have occurred, many of them have come to the Linux Foundation. And so we continue to build out this stack into logical components. And of course, when an open source project begins uh, at the start, uh, they're kind of focused on their own thing and uh, just bringing the technology together. But now that everything is a little bit more mature, all of these projects are starting to find their interconnection and where they actually, uh, they, where they actually want to fit together. So we've spent significant time over the last year actually working to help these projects find where they're working together uh, from the top level projects like um, ONAP that has just been launched to do full orchestration end to end, um, all the way down to DPDK to accelerate the data plane, open daylight to, to be an SDN controller to weave the traffic together, an entire testing infrastructure uh, and integration infrastructure inside of OPNFV. So we're just finding more and more synergies across these projects that fill out a lot more of a solution stack than just component technologies. Wow, so there's a lot of work being done. So where can, where can people go to learn more about this collaboration and work that's being done to address these issues? Well, let's see, there are a lot of places kind of depending, you know, if you're interested in any particular piece of the stack, let's, like, let's say the data plane acceleration, that's dpdk, dpdk.org. Um, for OPNFE, you can go to wiki.opnfe.org. Um, you can go to Open Daylight if you're interested in the SDM piece. Um, you can go to ONAP if you're interested in the back-end orchestration piece. Um, so it kind of depends, you know, where you sort of want to focus your time. But um, we've got a, a lot of projects doing a lot of really, really cool work. But that's actually a good point, because obviously going to all of those places is more difficult. <laughs> yeah. So one of the things we're working on at the Linux Foundation is actually combining some of those assets, making it easier to, to traverse that stack. Um, even down to the point of how we actually organize our events in the future, trying to bring more projects together um, so that we have uh, a more critical mass across these projects, because there are so many developers that are working on more than one project. Certainly OPNFV has you know, a lot of good workers, but they mostly also work upstream to the projects that then tie into OPNFV as an example. Also less travel. Also. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> awesome, well thank you for taking the time to chat with us today and I look forward to learning more about this. All right, cool, thank you. Thanks very much.